Hi everyone! Welcome back to the Siemens Home Teams Facebook Live video. Again, I'm Christine Siemens. And I'm this Curtis guy Siemens. Here, yes, it's Curtis Siemens. And um, we are just giving you guys a little insight again into realtor life and giving some tips. Um, first up that we wanted to talk about was actually in regards to what we had said last week about it being a seller's market and about sellers being able to pretty much get whatever they ask for for their home. But there is uh, something that needs to be addressed in regards to that. And uh, Curtis, maybe you you had some thoughts of what you wanted to say about that. So yeah, being careful um, when in multiple offer situations, when people are bringing multiple offers to the table and that price just keeps going more and more and more and more and way over asking, uh, there are some definite cautions to be careful about both for the seller and the buyer because the seller is sitting there and they're looking at all of these offers and they're thinking well this is great uh, look at how much we're gonna get but the caution there is that when people are going way over asking price um, sellers want to be careful because while the price sounds great and they're thinking about everything that they can do with all their money um, your house has to be able to appraise at that amount so that's uh, something to be cautioned uh, about, especially from a seller's viewpoint, because someone can offer a lot of money for your place, uh, but if the bank doesn't agree, then it's just going to cause problems in the sale process going forward, uh, and that would be a real danger. And so along that note is the cautionary tale for the buyers, because if you put in a really high amount thinking the bank is going to help finance it, but it appraises at an amount that's lower than what you put in, you as a buyer would have to make up the difference unless you've put in your financing clause in the agreement if you put it did not put in that clause then you're you're going to be come, trying to come up with that money that extra money too so something to really be concerned about watch watch where you're going um, I love the saying that we hear all the time on the radio here know your limits play within it <laughs> so there you go a little little shout out there so just make sure you know exactly what you can afford um, one of the other things that we had happened this week which was kind of exciting uh, for our buyers was uh, what we had mentioned last week about when you putting in an offer on a property try to put a face behind that offer Curtis, you want to tell more about that? Yeah, so spending a little bit of time in front of the seller or spending as much time as possible trying to um, help the seller to appreciate who your buyer is and why they would be a good fit for that property. So we had an opportunity this week where we were one of several offers that were on the table. Uh, but the great thing was is I spent just a, a brief minute explaining who our buyer was um, why they were a good fit for that property. In this case, it was their retirement place. It was one floor. It was perfect for them. Their grandkids live just a few blocks away. So um, this actually helped us because when we got the phone call that our offer was accepted, we weren't the highest offer on the table. However, they liked what my buyer stood for. Uh, they liked what the buyer um, was bringing to the table, uh, but they also liked the fact that uh, this would be this would actually work out perfect for our buyers. So just spending that little bit of time uh, it really helped uh, to uh, to for our in the sake of our buyers. Awesome! So <laughs> I love his gestures in the background there. <laughs> We're just, just had to wrap that up wrap it up we're, right. we're really excited for everyone out there who's like trying to either sell or buy a home in this market it is it it is uh, going really fast things are going really fast they're uh, they're listed and within 24 48 hours people are saying we're bringing an offer and then you have to rush your clients through and decide if this is going to be the property so um, you know keep your eyes open if you're looking if you need any assistance we the Siemens home team we're happy to help. We're, we're doing what we can to help our clients and we would love to help you. Again, I'm Christine Siemens. This is Curtis Siemens. If you need to contact either one of us, our numbers are 519-719-6454 or you can call me 519-851-1078 and we also wanted to address, Hi, <laughs> not only Mark, but we also wanted to address my parents who have made many comments about our videos being inside of a vehicle. So, Mom and Dad, I hope you like our, uh, our office today. <laughs> Anyhow, everyone have yourselves a good day and we'll talk again to you next week. 
Bye-bye.